Welcome to the Morning Update. I'm Erin Ramsey. Public pools reopen across New South Wales today to everyone, including those who aren't vaccinated. A series of COVID-safe measures are in place. At this stage, it's going to be one person for four square metres in our outdoor pools only. There's going to be normal signing procedures, QR codes, all that sort of stuff as we progress. And we really look forward to how those restrictions will be further eased in the next stage of reopening. Alex Simmons from the Aquatic and Recreation Institute there. It says Premier Gladys Berejiklian is set to outline greater freedoms once the state reaches 80% of full vaccination. It will also include info on when people who aren't vaccinated can come out of lockdown. There's fears Melbourne's protests are becoming super spreader events. Hundreds of demonstrators shut down city streets last week, angry at the vaccine mandate and construction industry shut down. A second protester has since tested positive. The Geelong man not believed to have been connected to the first case. DIY COVID testing is likely to be available to Australians by the end of the year. Health Minister Greg Hunt has told The Age rapid antigen tests will be rolled out for home use once approved by the medical regulator. The Prime Minister has arrived back in Australia following his whirlwind trip to the US. He appeared on breakfast television before leaving where he was quizzed about the new submarine deal with the US and the UK. Scott Morrison reaffirming the decision to dump the deal with France, saying it was in Australia's best interest. And a legal expert says that any states that refuse to open their borders in line with the rest of Australia could face legal action. In an interview on the Sunday Project, constitutional law professor Kim Rubenstein said anyone adversely affected by border closures when the rest of the country's embraced COVID normal could have grounds for a case. To sport, Lewis Hamilton has reached his 100th F1 victory, winning the Russian Grand Prix. Daniel Ricciardo finished fourth. After a straight sets loss in the Labor Cup to Stefanos Tsitsipas, Nick Kyrgios admits that he won't be a full-time player on the ATP tour for much longer. And in cricket, the winning streak for the Aussie women's team has ended on 26 games, going down to India by two wickets in the final one day in Mackay. In entertainment news, Billie Eilish has joined Coldplay Play on stage for a rendition of the band's hit song Fix You at the Global Citizen Live concert in New York City. J Lo has also been spotted in New York celebrating with boyfriend Ben Affleck after her performance at the concert. She was seen leaving a nightclub holding hands with Ben, wearing a t shirt with her own face on it. And Heidi Klum's daughter, Lenny, is following in her mother's model footsteps, the 17 year old posing in a photo shoot for Roller Coaster Magazine. That's your latest from the Nova Podcast team. We'll see you this afternoon for another episode of The Update.